Hi everyone, my name is Joseph Kearns and I'm with the Cisco DevNet Sandbox team and today I'm going to give you a demonstration of how to use our newest collaboration 10.5 plus environment. Um, so what we've did is we've taken one of our existing collaboration 10.5 and added some new features to it. Okay, so let's take a look at the topology. So this is the main topology page for collaboration plus. On the left hand side we have the instructions pane. So we've divided up the instructions into an overview tab. We also have some VPN access uh, instructions as well. What to do when you receive your email. All of that VPN stuff will probably be covered in, in, in a different video. We're not going to get it too much into it here. We also have a quick start guide how to register phones, start traffic, etc. and also how to remotely control phones. But this is what I'm going to demonstrate in this video. And we also have some information about the Camelot load generation tool. On the right hand side we have um, some of the commands we're going to use in this topology. Register phones, unregister phones, start traffic, stop traffic. Up here we have some uh, buttons as well to control the size of the uh, of the diagram, the output window, and in the middle we have the actual topology itself. So we have, as usual, in the in the old collaboration 10.5, we have a call manager pair, publisher and subscriber. We have a presence server, an Active Directory server for domain name resolution within the lab. And what's different here is we have a Camelot load generation tool which drives some devices we've uh, on the call manager publisher. And we also have a phone view application. So we have some phones, um, physical phones in our lab that you can actually remotely control. So if you want to see what an IP phone service looks like on a physical phone or do some transfers, do some conferences, etc., you can do that remotely. We also, on this machine as well, which is a Windows box, we have a Jabber client 10.6. So you can mess around with the calls on the Jabber client and I am in presence. So this topology has been pre-booked by me. It's in the active state and I've also connected to VPN. Okay, so I'm not going to get too much into how to connect with VPN. As I said earlier, that'll be covered in a different video. I'm not going to tell you how uh, I booked this. Again, that will be in a, in a separate video on how to book any collaboration sandbox lab, DevNet sandbox lab. So once connected with VPN, you have access to any of these servers. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to check the call manager. So I've logged into the call manager here and you can, we can see that we have a number of devices we're going to use for traffic and they're in the unregistered state. So the first thing we're going to do is register these devices for traffic. So we can go back into the Cloud Shell uh, service, or, or the, sorry, the topology page, and hit this uh, command button here, register IP phones. So what you can do is you can keep an eye on the output window. We have some output here for, for some earlier activity. You don't have to need to worry about this. But just keep an eye at the bottom. You can see here that we're registering the phones. So what we're doing here is we're actually we're registering 150 skinny endpoints and 150 SIP endpoints. And each skinny endpoint is going to call one SIP endpoint. It takes about a minute, two minutes and a half to register these phones. So you can see down here the phones have registered successfully. To double check that you can go back into the call manager and refresh. So there we go. There are registered phones. So this is handy if you have a monitoring application that monitors uh, the call manager states of the devices on the call manager. Uh, if you want to check uh, registration status. So if you have an, applica an application like that, uh, this feature would be, uh, would be quite useful. So the next thing we want to do is we want to get some traffic running on this network. So that's again, it's pretty simple. There's a start and start traffic request button on the right hand side. All we have to do is select a duration, five minutes, and hit the run button. 
So once again, keep an eye on the output window. It will tell you when traffic is starting. And also keep an eye on the Camelot resource icon. So after about 30 seconds, you will see this uh, graphic spinning here on the, on the Camelot resource and also this green icon, which indicates the traffic is running. Yeah, it makes it a little bit easier to see. So after five minutes, the traffic run has concluded successfully and we are given a bunch of stats. So we can see here we have calls attempted, completed, arrived and answered. Uh, we have the test duration, five minutes, that's what we, what we selected initially. And we're also given the BHCA. So there is a second way to start traffic. Um, so when we run traffic from the, from the topology level commands here, we're only allowed to select duration. But if we go to the actual Camelot resource and go to the attributes, a window will open up here on the right hand side and we can go to commands. And we're given another, another option here to start traffic. So we can click in here and now we're given a couple of more uh, parameters we can change. So in order to start, to start traffic, we also always select on we can select the duration as before, 5, 10 minutes, up to an hour and a half. We can select the range. So this is the number of phones calling the other number of phones. So we have, if we select a range of 50, we have 50 skinny phones calling 50 SIP phones. If we select 100, it's 100 skinny phones calling 100 SIP phones, etc. Okay. And then we have the talk time. So once the call is established, this is how long the call will be up for, and this is in seconds. So you can select um, whatever parameters you need. These will affect the calls attempted, uh, BHCA, etc., and hit the run button. And the traffic will, will run as before, and you will be given the stats at the end of the run. It's also worth noting that if you want to stop traffic at any time during the run, there's a stop traffic request down here. So that just works in exactly the opposite way that the start traffic does. Um, if you are running traffic for say an hour and you want to stop it halfway through, just hit the stop traffic command and, and the calls will be cleared down and the traffic will stop. Okay, so the next tool I wanna to show you is our phone view application. And this is hosted on a, a Windows box within our lab. So you need to remote desktop to this machine. Now the IP address is given, so if you open remote desktop to that IP address, the connection credentials are over here. If you go into the attributes of, of the resource, you'll see the login username and password. So I have already connected to this server. So what you do is on the desktop there's a phone view um, icon, just double click it. After a few seconds, the application will start up. Go to File, Open. Select this Phone View 2 PVD file. Okay, we'll be given a bunch of phones. These are all the phones that are um, registered in our call manager at the moment, but we're not interested in the, in the traffic phones, we're interested in the physical phones. So if you go over to data, data Explorer, open up Device Pool, and there's a separate device view pool for this for the uh, physical phones. So we select that, and you can see the two 7975 phones. We can increase their size. So just make sure that for each phone, the screenshot is automatic. So that just makes sure that the uh, the phone is updated. So using the keypad down here, we can make calls between these phones, transfers. If you have, as I said earlier, an IP uh, service that you want displayed on a phone, you want to see what it looks like, um, you will see that through this GUI. So let's try to make a quick call between these phones.
Okay, so we're just going to uh, attempt that call again. So we select a line. I've selected this 5001 phone here. We enter the DN of the other phone. Other phone starts ringing. Select it. Hit the answer soft key. And the call is established. We want to clear it down. We um, hit these buttons. These buttons here correspond to these soft keys. So on any of the phones, we can hit uh, end call. So there's also options up here to reset the phone, etc. Um, the most important thing here is to make sure that the screenshot, the screenshot uh, is set to automatic. We also have a Jabber client on this machine. So if you if you go back to the topology page in the, in the instructions and go to quick start, down to the very bottom, there's some information about how to log into the Jabber client. So the username is Jabber01 and the password is Cisco1234. The DN you'll be assigned is 5003. So. So using the client, you can interact with these phones as well. They're all in the same call manager. You can also set up a Jabber client remotely on your own PC at your site. And you can call into these devices. And you can send IM messages between the two Jabber clients. So if you just go back to the call manager, we'll see that all these devices for traffic are still registered. So at the end of your testing you you probably want to unregister th these devices again so how we do that is pretty simple we go back to the topology view the cloud shell topology go to the commands and we hit the unregister ip phones button it takes about a minute or so to uh, unregister all these phones once again keep an eye out on the output window it's always very handy to have this open all the time um, at the moment it's telling us that the unregister process has started and now it's completed. So we can go back into the call manager, refresh. And now these are unregistered. So that's the end of the demonstration with collaboration 10.5 plus. One thing you should realize is that this is a dedicated environment so that this lab, once you have booked it, is totally under your control. You have admin access to all the servers and I would encourage you to get in, um, use it as much as possible, get into the call manager, get into the CUP servers, into the active directories, use the phone view application and run traffic. We have a forum that you can feed back uh, some suggestions or if you have trouble accessing anything, um, make sure you access the forum. The link will be at the end of this video. I want to thank you for watching and I, uh, we hope you have fun in the sandbox.